Hey Joe, it's folks here. It is no secret that print on demand is an extremely popular business model. Right now there are dozens and dozens of creators creating tons of different content telling you what to do with your store. But with so much good advice out there, why is there so many people that are struggling to make any sales at all? And according to recent reports like this, the print on demand market size is growing. If we scroll down here, you can see that right now they estimate that the print on demand market size is about six billion and over the next seven years it's going to raise to almost 40 billion if it's going to increase that much why are so many people struggling to make any sales maybe they're just getting bad advice now I have been making content on YouTube for about five years I made this video on October 22nd 2018 I also run this Facebook group for print-on-demand store owners and right now we have almost 61,000 people inside of the group I also have a coaching program students of mine have made almost five million million dollars in sales on their store. I started something called the Mug Club. These are trophies that I send to them when they reach sales milestones on their stores. And I'm telling you this because everything I talk about here on my channel is based on my experience. Running my own stores, interacting with you here on YouTube, running a Facebook group with almost 61,000 people in it, and also mentoring others to have success with their stores. What I'm trying to say is I do know a little bit about this business model. Of course, there could be some things that I don't know. Maybe Maybe. And today I want to share with you the five biggest reasons I'm seeing people right now failing with their print on demand store. And hopefully you'll take some of this seriously. If you want to see some of the things that I'm doing in my own print on demand businesses, make sure to check out some of the other videos here on my channel. And if you want to go through some step by step training, make sure to check out my course. There's a link down in the description. It's completely free. It'll show you how to build your store. Reason number one why people fail is that they do stuff like this. They just kind of don't treat print on demand like a real business. They create a whole bunch of designs and throw them on a whole bunch of random products. And then they think that just because they've created something that people will want to buy it. It's sort of like how we look at our own kids. We think they're beautiful no matter what. You can't look at your print on demand store like that. You gotta do more than coming up with a name for the store and taking designs and putting them on random products like this. You have to build something that has an awesome vibe to it and also represents a specific niche. And that kind of brings me to reason number two, which is you cannot make a clothing line with your print-on-demand store. I repeat, do not make a clothing line with your print-on-demand store. You must choose a niche. As people are scrolling on social media, for example, the niche is what's going to ultimately get them interested. And if you don't have one, they're not going to be interested. Don't believe me? Check out this post that was made inside of my Facebook group. Someone says, I'm hoping I could get feedback or pointers on what might be wrong with my site. I'm trying to start a brand with POD and I've shamefully spent over $2,000 on Facebook and Instagram ads, yet I got zero sales from that. I'm just trying to understand what's wrong. Is it the way the site looks or is it that my designs are bad and no one likes them? Before we take a look at his site, this is a post that I have seen over and over and over again. That's why at the beginning I talked about how I have a little bit of experience with what's working with print on demand as well as what is not. And that is why I'm trying to make videos like this to help you to avoid wasting your time and ultimately potentially wasting a lot of money. So this store is called thegeons.com and he spent over $2,000 promoting this brand. My point is, as someone is scrolling on social media, right, and they come across one of the ads that he is running, right, for a shirt, uh, well, these are violating trademarks, so we can't sell this stuff. That'll actually be a reason coming up here pretty soon. If we see this popping up on our social media feeds and we've never seen the Geons before, what reason do we have to want to come and buy this? The answer is, we don't have a reason and that is why he is not making any sales because he has made something up he has essentially tried to create himself his own clothing line and he's began to try to sell it and unfortunately that's not something that can really work in that way if your idea to start a clothing line is something you want to do then what you should do is order a whole bunch of samples of your work you should not actually use print on demand you should work with a supplier so that way you can get things for a lower cost and focus on growing your brand locally first try to find local influencers or something like that. Print on demand and Shopify stores and Etsy shops are not for clothing line. This right here is an awesome print on demand store. If we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you will see that they claim to have over 100,000 customers. And this is a store, you can see that right here. This is a store that has chosen a niche. They are selling in the Viking and the Norse niche and Scandinavian and stuff like that. And they have done a tremendous job at building themselves a brand inside of this niche. 
That is the key to being successful with print on demand is actually choosing a niche. If you wanna see me break down that store, I do have another video on my channel where I recently broke down their entire business. So if you wanna check that out, go and look on the channel. Now, reason number three that people fail with their print on demand store is actually a big one. It's one that could also find yourself in legal trouble if you do something like what I'm about to talk about. Take a look at this store here. At first glance, it just seems like your average print on demand store. As you begin to scroll down though, what are they doing? They are using cartoon images from the TV show Bluey. You cannot do that. If you want to check out this video here that I recently made about copyrights trademarks, definitely do so. I break it down. I talk about what the difference is between a trademark and copyright. So that way you can make sure that you don't violate anything and do not find yourself in any trouble. Essentially though, the idea is you cannot use these images because these are the images from a cartoon. The owners of the cartoon have a copyright protection on these because they created it with the cartoon. And when you begin to try to sell products like this, you are using their likeness to make money, which is against the law. And Bluey, the creators of Bluey, could sue the store owner here for using their likeness. Are you getting value out of the video? I hope you are. If you wanna stay in touch, there's three different things that you could do. The first is subscribe to the channel. I upload three or so videos a week. You could also join the POD Ninjas Facebook group. Like I said earlier, there's about 61,000 people there as I am making this video. There's a link down in the description. And also, if you want to go through some step-by-step -step training from me, make sure to check out my course. There's over 30 step-by-step -step videos inside showing you the process to actually build out a print-on-demand store. The best part is it is completely free and there is a link down in the description. Now, reason number four is one that I think some of you might take personally. This is because what I'm about to talk about is an extremely popular strategy for running a print-on-demand store. Reason number four that people struggle to make any sales at all with their print-on-demand store is that they fall into the Etsy trap. What is the Etsy trap? The Etsy trap is this idea that if you just upload designs, as many as possible, to the Etsy platform that you will be able to take advantage of the organic traffic that exists there and you will be able to create yourself a profitable side hustle. So many people say, just put your designs on Etsy and let the people find you. People say on Etsy there's free traffic. It's an amazing way to get people to see your stuff. It's great for beginners to start print on demand. I happen to think it's one of the worst ways to run a print on demand business, mainly because you are going to be competing with just so many people. No matter what you type in on Etsy, you're going to see thousands and thousands of results. You can see right here we have 28,000 results. On this page, I typed in mama t-shirt. I have almost 300,000 listings here. On this page, I typed in yoga t-shirt. You can see that we have almost 50,000 results. And lastly, as another example, I typed in dog t-shirt. I have over 200,000 results. I would challenge you to go on Etsy and if you're planning to do an Etsy shop is to go on Etsy and type in what it is you are trying to do. If you are seeing tens of thousands of results there, there is a very, very chance that your stuff is ever going to be seen. And what you're going to find yourself in is what I call the Etsy trap, which is a state of never ending creation of designs. You are going to have to upload hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of designs to get any traction at all. I have talked to so many people that do have successful Etsy shops. And you know what the number one thing that they say to do is in order to be successful on Etsy? It's to upload every single day and to ultimately have a product catalog that has 500, 600, or even a thousand designs. And then the goal would be to try to get 5% of them to sell on a weekly basis. That would be bringing you about 50 sales a week or so, and that would give you a profitable side hustle. But you had to spend all the time uploading all of those designs in order to get there. What I would much rather do is something like this store has done here. It's called OutdoorWiseLiving.com. It's a small Shopify store that creates a couple of really exclusive designs to sell to people that love the outdoors. You can see here their designs are really simple. These are the types of things that you would see hundreds of thousands of results for on Etsy. And instead of putting their stuff on Etsy, they have built themselves this nice little boutique and they are crushing it. You can see on their About Us page here, it looks like it is a husband and wife team. They have a whole bunch of information about how they got started. And basically because they have been able to bring themselves onto their own site and use the power of social media, this is their Instagram page, they've been able to sell these types of items. This product here appears to be their best seller. And what they're doing is they're establishing themselves as a brand inside of this niche. And then people are buying this hoodie because they want to join their team. They want
want to feel like they are supporting a brand. On Etsy here, I typed in outdoors t-shirt. We see a lot of items that are pretty similar to what that store is doing. The problem is, if we scroll all the way to the bottom, there are dozens of pages of results here, right? If you're starting this brand right now and you end up on page 11, no one's ever going to see you. You can see here at the top, it says there are almost 32,000 listings that are popping up for this search term. So basically what I'm saying is a lot of people fail with print on demand because they choose a bad way to do it. They basically buy into the idea that if they just upload as many things as possible to Etsy, that they're going to ultimately have themselves a profitable print on demand business. And the problem is that's what everyone else is doing. There are just so many people on Etsy. If you go on YouTube and you type in print on demand, you're going to see dozens of creators that are recommending you to spend your time uploading and uploading and uploading to Etsy with the idea that someday maybe a couple of your shirts will sell on a week basis. In my opinion, what you should do instead is go on over to Shopify, build yourself your own store so that way you can build your own brand and then use the power of social media to grow it. That is what I've done. That is what I've taught others to do. And there's a free course video description where I will show you how to actually build out your store and begin getting traffic to it. And if you've watched the video this far, there's a good chance that you are getting some Something out of this and if you are getting something out of this I want to take things slow reason number five that people struggle with their print-on-demand store is that they don't have fun they basically set these outrageous goals for themselves that really they don't have a chance of hitting anytime soon and then what ends up happening is they just are in a constant state of disappointment with their print-on-demand store basically what I'm saying is sometimes I see people that are putting their store together for the first time and they set this goal that they want to make twenty thousand dollars within their first like 90 days or something or they have it in their head that as soon as they open the store they're just going to be making dozens and dozens of sales and the fact is is that when you are just starting your store there is a great chance that it is going to fail at the beginning it is very rare that any of us will try something new for the first time and it will be an instant success you almost want to go into things with zero expectations i tell new students of mine that your first goal should be to just open your store and to start running your business from there your goal should be to maybe make your first sale, maybe get, try to get to the point where you can make five sales, and then try to get to the point where you can get enough traffic to your store where you can make one sale a day. From there, obviously, you can start setting some better goals, but my point is, at the beginning, you have to set yourself some realistic goals. That way, you don't get yourself into a state of constant disappointment. Hopefully, these five reasons are things that you are not doing, but if you are doing any of them, let me know down in the comments which one you think is contributing to your failure with your print on store or if you're crushing it with print on demand let me know down in the comments as well i always like to hear when people are doing well with this business so thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next video